All right. I think we've got enough grape ore meat, and uh, luckily I was able to move my mic around so it's no longer like shoved halfway down my throat while I'm trying to talk. So hopefully the audio will sound a little bit better this time too. Oh man, I ate so much. Those things actually tasted pretty good. I should have enough food to last me for a while. Do we know if that water is freshwater vice? I wonder if this island is near any of the trade routes. A ship has got to pa pass by here sooner or later. I should prepare some sort of signal fire in case I see any ships. I'd be a little easy going about that fire. You're on an island with very limited resources and we don't even know if that water's fresh water yet. If nothing else, it certainly looks like it's still water, so it, it would have to be boiled too. You'd have to sanitize it. Anyways, <laughs> I spent my second day gathering food. Lucky for me that the island was inhabited by animals. I started my third day with a big breakfast. Now, it was time to get back to work. Oh, I was thinking we were going to head back over to Ica and see how we see exact and see what exactly she was doing for work. <clears throat> I suppose at the uh, front of the island, that makes a lot of sense. Big open space, nice easy spot to put a signal fire that you don't want to light yet. I went to the highest point of the island that I could reach and cleared away an area for a signal fire. If a ship passes by, all I need to do is light it and they'd probably see it. I wonder if ships would still consider that. If they passed by an island and saw a big burning just light on an island that they weren't expecting to see a person on, would they really pull over? Or are we now in an era where people wouldn't consider that a standard thing anymore? Just some questions, food for thought. I've been stranded on this island for three days. That night, I had a dream about Ica, Fina, and even Drachma. On the fourth day, ah, this place isn't so bad. Let's see, I need to gather some firewood. There's a heavy fog in the area. Oh, you found your firewood. They're dry and just about the right size. I should look for more sticks like this. Oh God. A mini game about gathering sticks. Lucky me. Alright, few more. This looks like it's about the right size for making a fire. I bet the dialogue is going to be pretty much that on all of them. Alright, there's a couple here. Nope, this one's nice and dry. There's more here than I thought. Our fire's lit. I don't like that. Hold on. What happened? Did we do that? There's no way we did that. I guess now I just have to wait for a ship to pass by and notice the signal fire. Vice! I mean... I kind of get why, but... Like, if you're stuck here for the long haul, man... You need to, like, worry about your resources. You've only got, like, I don't know, less than three dozen trees? Less than that for sure. I sure as hell am not gonna count them all. Unless it really takes me that long to find the last couple of sticks. We already picked the ones up over there. I'll be honest, I'm at the point where I think they are hidden slightly somewhere. Just barely out of sight. So I'm just smashing that A button wherever I go now. Vice, I am convinced you just want to keep looking for sticks of wood that don't exist anymore. You have some swords, cut them off the trees at this point. I even found berries. Oh, they are hidden. Oh, I found them because I found the berries. God damn it. Well, I have enough fire to last a while. It looks like it's going to rain soon. 
I should call it quits for today. Well, it was my fourth day on this island, and I'm really starting to miss sailing. I suppose I just have to think of this as some sort of vacation and deal with it. On the fifth day, it rained like Michigan in the summer of 2019. Dear God, it won't stop. Well, it's been raining all day. I guess I won't get much done. I'll just rest for now. I don't just want to sit around all day hoping for a ship to pass by. I wonder if I can fix the lifeboat from the Little Jack. It rained all day. I spent most of the day resting in the cave. This is my fifth night on this island. First thing tomorrow, I'll try to fix the lifeboat. Do we have anything that counts as tools? Another good night's rest. It actually f does feel good to take a break from fighting monsters. Well, I better get started on fixing the boat. Since this island has been deserted for a while, there should be some moonstones lying around. The rain probably... Oh god, you're not going to make me hunt for more. Oh, I've got to hunt for more things, don't I? Well, at least they're bright colored and hard to miss. Here's one, but I'll need more than one to fly to the next island. Time to look for some more. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, there's one. There seems to be entire islands dedicated to mining these resources known as moonstones and this island pff, just rains onto them enough to uh, fuel a lifeboat all the way to the next island which I can't even see so I have to be on the assumption that it's a ways off and I bet these could have fallen anywhere yep even up here at least I feel a lot less crazy about this one with, than with the, uh, the sticks well, I guess we can verify we're somewhere near Nazar, since I didn't check the moon like an idiot. I don't know. I mean, I understand the the idea of the uh, the signal fire, but that other guy was here for God knows how long, and he didn't so much see another ship. It's kind of uh, oh, what's the term? optimistic to think that uh, we're going to get lucky enough to find a ship. But you got to do it anyways. Huh, found another one. One more would probably be enough. Right, I don't think I checked by the lifeboat yet, so we've got this entire section. And there she is. Yep, just enough apparently. These moonstones haven't been processed yet. They may not give off much power, but it should be enough to, uh, something, something, something. I accidentally hit the A button too soon. It looks like I'll finally make it off this island. I started working on the boat. This island is full of trees, so I won't have to worry about running out of materials. Eating the food that I saved up, I spent the next few days hard at work on the boat. One week had passed. One week had passed since we started working on the boat, or one week had passed since we first woke up. <sighs> well, there's our signal fire going. Is that more rain coming in? I saw the dark clouds and I got a little spooked there. They're kind of giving some people here in Michigan some PTSD right now. Had a couple of places uh, around us start flooding even. Glad we're not caught up in it, but 
you know, it's a, it's a worry. You know, for, uh, for not having any real tools and just raw materials to work with, he's really making do and making something out of that boat. Possibly even restored to, well, we have no idea if it was factory condition, but damn near where we, uh, where we had it when we lost Drachma. <laughs> nope, not crying. We got a ship to pilot. We can officially leave. Or at least swim around in our little tiny lake. <laughs> ah, there she goes. Now she's a fluttering. All right, that should just about do it. I'm finally gonna be able to get off this island tomorrow. I wonder how much money Ika was able to raise in this time. We kinda know generally what she's doing and what kind of job she found. I mean, there's gotta be a lot of, uh, lot of options. It's not like she's unskilled or anything. W what? I mean, being uh, being an air pirate, that's got to have uh, you know some skills there. Whoa, a ship! Why couldn't it have come a little earlier? I wouldn't have spent all that time working on the boat. Vice, don't complain. You've got salvation on your doorstep. Uh, stoke that fire. Beef it up. Really let them know you're there. Oh. That may be less friendly than we thought. No. Okay, I was worried they were gonna hit our ship. Our little boat. Yes! They saw me! Well, looks like I'm finally getting off of this rock. Hell yeah. Let's... Let's pack up and peace out of here. Couldn't be off... Oh, this is gonna be the guy from the... There's an opening video that plays with this, and, uh... This guy's kind of a kind of a fun-looking dude. Let's let's get to let's get to meet him, Captain Gilder. Dude looks like he's just drunk on his ass. Lola, let me rest a little longer. Captain, uh, Captain, you need to wake up. Huh? Oh, we just picked up a boy stranded off a deserted island. He says that he's been there for two weeks. Judging by the way he's dressed, he's probably an air pirate. He looks like he's about 17. He's pretty much still a baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ah, Wiley. Or Willy. I'm going with Wiley because it sounds like a Mega Man reference and I enjoy that even though it's not spelled, I think, even remotely the same. Well, he's a lucky kid. He was only stranded for two weeks. But, if it was me, and I was stuck on an island without any women for two whole weeks, I'm not sure I'd have made it. Alright. Let's see what you got, Captain. So, you're the guy that was stranded. I bet they're all named characters. Huh. And you're dressed like an air pirate. What's your name, kid? I'm Vice. Thank you for saving me. Are you the captain of this ship? Yes, I am. Just call me Gilder. The ship's name is Claudia, and this beast on my shoulder here is Wildy. I know it's not spelled that way, but I enjoy it. Come to the bridge. I want to hear you. I want to hear about your adventures. Tell me your stories, young man. Seventeen stranded on an island. You've got to have a few. <laughs> You've defeated three of the Armada's admirals and escaped the Grand Fortress. I like you, Vice. I wouldn't expect anything less from an air pirate. Personally, I'm constantly searching for adventure. 
treasure, brawls, and women. There are tons of things in this world that make me happy. Women are like sunsets. They're beautiful, but there will be a different one tomorrow. That's my motto. Uh, look, that's a little messed up. I'll be straight with you. But I don't want you throwing me off your ship. That's a little messed up. But, uh... Uh, yeah, you don't want another guy to tell you that, but... I, yeah, it's a compliment. Yep, I bet you, you do get all the women. Good job, Gilder. So, you've been away from your ship for two weeks, right? I bet you really miss sailing. Go ahead, take the wheel. Whoa, whoa. Really? You'd, you'd let me... Ah, oh, jeez, I just, like, tripped up over my own tongue there. That was weird. I, I don't care. Anyone who's accomplished with you knows his way around a ship. The Claudia is a little on the sensitive side, so... You'll get the hang of her in... Oh, but you'll get the hang of her in no time. I'm heading to Nazareth. It's the capital of Nazareth, due south of here. If you get lost, just look at the map and get your bearings, alright? Let's go. I wonder if... Oh, he's actually in our party. So I wonder if the other option he would have seen it as better, because... Kind of wanted to go with that one, and he apparently didn't like the idea of another guy... Complimenting him the way we did. Alright, buddy, what do you equip? Yo, you, oh, you're the gunner! Drachma's image, still there. And we've got at least one more person we can find. And Gilder's rune definitely outdoes anything we're going to be able to equip him with. So he's just coming with some good gear. Alright, while we're here, can I discover the island I was on? Or no? Alright, looks like that's a no. Something off that way, but I want to get to Nazar and find my crewmates. So that is kind of priority number one. Two ships here, three ships in our area. How did none of them see us? Please, none of you want to fight me. That's not a ship. What even is this? Captain, there's a suspicious looking ship heading straight for us. It's coming in fast and it's oh. pink. What? I wonder who- oh. Oh no. Ah, it's her. I kind of figured as much. <laughs> there you are, my love. You can't play hard to get forever. My heart belongs to you. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, it's Clara, all right. In some ways, she's even more frightening than the Armada. Okay, here's the plan. Vice, you and I are going to take a lifeboat to Nazareth, and my crew will sail my ship in the opposite direction as a decoy. What do you say? Sounds like a plan? Uh, yeah, but you're the captain. Is it all right for you to leave your ship? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Titles mean nothing to me. And I told you earlier, didn't I? I'm always searching for an adventure. I do have to say, I like his coat. I really like the outfit. All right, everyone. Time for Operation Clara. You know the routine. Catch up with us later. Aye, aye. And I was so certain they were all going to have their own names and we were going to get some, like, additional characters there in some way. No, they've just got some pretty cool looking designs for, uh, for background characters. Works every time. Alright, Vice, let's head south. Let's see what kind of fun Nazareth has to offer. Did I not get to check that weird box? Or was that weird box actually her ship? I have some personal stuff to take care of first. You go on to the inn and rest up. I'll catch up with you a little later. 
I don't mind traveling separately, but what is it you need to do exactly? Uh. I need to stop by the tavern for a bit. There's a few women there that'll be happy to see me. Don't wait up. See ya. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that was that was so bad it was almost enjoyable. <laughs> see ya. All right, so ordinarily I'd be running right off to the inn and we'd be progressing the story, but I'm going to have to call it here for this for this episode and uh know the usual. Thanks so much for watching and uh, see you next time.